So if you're confused about adding a video to your Google Sites ePortfolio, watch this. Let's go to Quests. We're going to go to 5.6, the Starship Equinox. And then we've got the portfolio assignments here. So once you successfully added an image, you're gonna unlock adding videos and create your own images. Look on adding videos. Uh, and if you didn't understand this video, hopefully this new one will explain it better. Now, always go to the feedback if I returned an assignment and read what I wrote. It says here, the video has to go on your ePortfolio site. Paste the link here when you're done. All right, so let's try that. We're going to go to sites.google.com. We're going to open our portfolio by clicking on it. And now we found out that if you go down here to YouTube and click on this, that doesn't work. But if you open up a new tab and go to youtube.com and find a video that you like. So I'm going to find my old cockroach maze video. This was made by one of our students uh, trying to see if they can get their Madagascar hissing cockroach to go through a maze. This is a video for this assignment on one of your seven random facts, one of the things that you really like. So go down here to where it says share. Click on copy. Close that. Go back here. Now, find out where you want to put the video. Oh, look at that. I've got some unavailable videos. So I'm going to go to the very bottom because unavailable videos, you just have to give me the link. I will approve it so you can have it show on your portfolio. Now, here's the trick to putting in a video. You have to go to insert embed. And then look, embed from the web by URL. That's what I copied. So now if I do control V, I paste it there and look, insert, there's my cockroach maze video. So once you insert a video successfully, um, it's always good to add some text. You want to move uh, this to make it a caption. The above video shows a student um, putting their Madagascar hissing cockroach through a maze. And that's it. Now, here's the important part. Don't forget to publish because you made changes and then it tells you here's your draft, here's your current, so you have to kick, click publish again. Then you're not done. You have to go here right next to publish and choose view published site. Now you go here Control C to copy, go back here, Control V to paste, submit, submit. And when you're resubmitting an assignment, go to the messages, go to sixth grade, and let me know you did it. Mr. Gonzalez, I resubmitted my videos on ePortfolio. That way, I know it's ready for me to re-approve. And that is how you get a video on your ePort.